Hey guys, Viper Mike here, just making a quick walkthrough video about how to use the Tesla chargers now that they've been open for GM, GM vehicles. Um, this is going to be a walkthrough from start to finish, showing you how to set up your Tesla app, how to use your My GMC app, and how to get uh, charging at a Tesla charger. Um, if you already have all the apps set up and you already know how all this works, a uh, quick recap for you. Um, yes, the Tesla chargers are now open to GM vehicles. Yes, you need an adapter. And the only approved adapter right now is the one that you get from GM. Uh, yes, you can use aftermarket adapters. Um, no, it's not recommended, but I don't, uh, I, I myself don't see a problem using an aftermarket one, but uh, do so at your own risk. In, in, in case your vehicle explodes, your battery catches fire, and your warranty gets denied, um, don't come back blaming me. So let's begin the walkthrough, and we'll just go through um, everything from start to finish on how to set this up and get your vehicle charging at a Tesla supercharger. So first thing we want to do is open up the Tesla app. I'm assuming you already have it installed. You, if you have an account, you can log in here. If you don't have an account, you'll need to make one. So um, go, go to create account and here you can input all your information and it'll make you a Tesla account. So then you go sign in and uh, put your credentials in. So once you sign in, you're on the home screen, you click on the top right, the three lines, and then you go to charging. You uh, select vehicle details, and this is where you input your uh, vehicle make uh, model, uh, year, and maximum range, um, and select that you have the adapter. Um, in my case, it's the 2023 Hummer EV pickup, and uh, yes, I have an adapter, and then you save. Next thing you have to do is add your payment method. So you go ahead and uh, uh, add all that information. And then it, you're back at the screen. You can check out the membership if you want, but for now we'll just uh, ignore that. Uh, so we'll go back to the home screen. Um, don't worry about the My Products. Go all the way back to the home screen, and then you go find the charger. So now it'll show you all the available superchargers near you. You can select one of them if you're at one. Just select whichever one you're at. Uh, and now it'll show you whichever uh, post number you're at. So you select that. Um, and the first time you do this, it'll ask you to update your billing details. So I went ahead and did that. And then you can start charging. So if you're at a charger, this is when you get out of your vehicle and you take your adapter, you plug it into the cord, and then plug the whole assembly into your vehicle, and it should hopefully start charging. Uh, at the end of this video, I will go to an actual Tesla charger and I will give it a try. So now I will go through setting up your My GMC app. Um, I'm using the My Cadillac app since I also have a Cadillac, but they're all the same. They all work the same. So you fire up your app um, and you click on the top right again, which is you're going to be your initials. And after that, uh, you click on public charging and then it'll take you to the map most likely. So then you'll have to click on your initial again in the top right and then click on public charging again. And then you should see that the Tesla uh, charging or Tesla supercharger is there. Uh, and then you'll, you'll have a button that says activate. So you go in there and you activate it. Um, you, it'll ask you for your credit card details. Um, and then after it's activated, uh, you'll have the button on the bottom uh, where you can order your adapter from GM. Now I'm in Canada, so it directs me to just contact a local dealer to get an adapter. Um, but in the US, you should be able to just order it right through the app. Um, so after you get your adapter, or if you want to use an aftermarket one, um, like you did with through the Tesla app, 
um, this is where you would go to actually begin your charging at a Tesla charger. Um, you go through the process, you select the one you're at, same thing as in the Tesla app, and you select the charger and then you start charging. One thing to note, um, I read that on, the, on, uh, on a post today and on Facebook, that if you do have a Tesla membership, which gives you a, a discounted rate, that does not transfer over to the My GMC app. So if you do have a Tesla membership, then you should just use the Tesla app and charge through there. So realistically, charging through the My GMC app is kind of a waste of time. The only real reason to do any of this is to be able to order a, an adapter uh, from GM directly through the app. Otherwise, if you're going to use an aftermarket adapter or if you can somehow just get it from a local dealer, then skip setting all of this up on the My GMC app and just use the Tesla app. So now we'll go ahead and head to a local Tesla supercharger and give it a try. So here we are at a Tesla supercharger station, a bunch of Teslas around, and we will give this a try. So I've set uh, my charge to 100%. I think my battery's at about like 80% now, so um, I would actually just had it plugged in at home. Hopefully this person isn't trying to pull in next to me. If they are, I'll have to find a new spot. Oh, come on, really? Anyway, so here we are. I've got the Tesla app pulled up. I've got my freshly purchased adapter. Got this thing off eBay for a hundred bucks. Somebody was selling it used. Uh, so we'll go ahead and give it a try. I'll uh, screen record this uh, Tesla thing too, and then I can put it in my video. So let's uh, get this adapter going. So we'll go with charge here. And then this is 1D. So we'll select 1D. We'll go start charging. And it says to uh, attach the handle. So we'll go ahead and do that. Plug it in. Got the adapter plugged in here. And now we can uh, attach it. And we will see what happens. Made a noise like it started charging and here we go sorry the battery in my GoPro died but we are charging we're getting 96 kilowatts which is pretty good considering my battery is at like 90 I mean uh, 78 percent or so um, but yeah it's working and here it is on the app um, we've spent 70 cents so far but nevertheless, I don't really need to charge it. Just wanted to check that it works. So now we'll go ahead and stop the charge. And it says char charging stopped. So now we can go ahead and unplug it and get out of here. 